Oh, now, I already know what time it is. Say, check me out. So one day, I'm cooling. I go to my partner house, right? Now, my partner, he's into a whole bunch of this and that, you feel me? But I always rock with him because, shit, he was my day one. Like, I ain't never I ain't never went around him like, oh, I'm trying to be this, I'm trying to be that. I'll always be me. i always be key. You feel what I'm saying? So... I had got me a new outfit or whatever, and I had went over to his crib. And when I had went over there, I had went to stay the night, right? So, as everybody know, my mama, she worked night shifts. You see what I'm saying? So, my mama worked night shifts and whatnot, and uh, she let me go stay the night at Kenfolk House. So, I'm over there at Kenfolk House now. Now, watch the story. You got to watch. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to lead to another story, too. But you got to watch the ones who you be around, you feel me? Because people that hurt you, bro. Straight off spite, you feel me? Straight off hatred, you feel what I'm saying? So one day, you know what I'm saying? I'm cooling and whatnot, and me and my partner, oh, I go to his house or whatever. We stand the night. He like, hey, bro, I'm finna go to my little yeah house. She got a little sister, or she got a big sister. You trying to go? I'm like, hell yeah, I'm trying to go. Like, what's happening? So I end up going over there with him. When we end up going over there, you know, of course, him and his little yeah, you know what I'm saying? And for those who don't know what little yeah mean, that mean his little yeah, his little female, you know what I'm saying? His whatever. So I go over there, we, uh, we kicking in the weather. Now him and his little yeah, they, they conversating, they talking, they doing this, they doing that. You know what I'm saying? I'm really just cooling, you feel me? I'm peeping the scenery. I already know what type of time and I'm, I'm supposed to be on because he had already put me on game with her big sister saying, like, her big sister a freak, did that in the third, whatever, wow, wow. So, I'm sitting now, whatever, her big sister come through. Now, mind you, I still had, I had the beard, but it wasn't, it wasn't as thick as it is now, you feel me? So, she, uh, she old, old girl approached me like, so what's up with you, what up, what about me, shit, whatever type of timing you on, bitch, I been on that, you feel me, like, I been on that timing, like, ain't nothing to me, you know what I'm saying, hey, it ain't nothing to key, you feel me, so as time go on, I'm really trying to feel the scene, you know what I'm saying, I'm already, no, I'm trying to get that wet, you feel me, I'm trying to, hey, you feel me, I'm trying to goddamn me do what I need to do when I need to do it, how I need to do it, at all times, so, I'm like, man, so what's up? Like, shit, you sitting up here pump faking. <laughs> you pump faking, man. Stop all that pump faking. Like, what's up with you? So she like, how old you is, right? Now, at this point in time, I wish I would have lied. But I used to be so confident in myself, you feel me? It wasn't no point in line. But I wish I would have lied this night. How old you is? Oh, shit, I'm 15. You 15. Yeah, I'm 15. Oh, I'm 18. Okay. Now, I don't fuck with little boys. Little boy? Who little boy? I ain't no little boy. I been doing this, you feel me? Man, what's up? Like, what, what's happening? I wish you would have said you were like 17. You would have said you were 17. I would have dropped the drawers for you. What? So, now my partner over here doing what he doing. And I'm trying to finesse my way into the big sister, you feel me? The whole night. She steady faking on me. Oh, you a little boy. You this, you that, you that, and the third, right? So after a while, you know what I did? I left that shit alone. <clears throat> One thing I'm not finna do, <clears throat> I'm not finna chase no poutine. You hear what I'm saying? I'm not finna chase no poutine. I'm not finna do none of that, you feel me? Commercial break me, please. Hold on real quick. I'm gonna let y'all know I am not a Dallas Maverick fan. I just like the color blue. You feel what I'm saying? I don't bang. I just like the color blue. That's my color. I always like blue. You feel what I'm saying? I'm a Lakers fan to the death of me. You feel me? And I'm a New York Jets fan to the death of me. I'm just letting y'all know. Don't get the Michigan screws just because I'm in Dallas and I got this hat on. Don't think, you know what I'm saying? I'm a Dallas fan because I ain't. You feel me? So, I had left that shit alone, you know what I'm saying? That, that, was, that was the unpaused button real quick. I uh, unpaused it. So I had left that alone, you feel me? I'm like, man, that shit over oh, if I ain't got time for it. And I'd be down if I sit up here and just, goddamn me, keep on egging. You feel what I'm saying? I ain't never been built like that. Like, that shit over with. So I'm like, man, that shit over with. Whatever, you know, you got it. As time started to go on, I started to know that she kind of like, she kind of mad because I ain't chasing her. But why would I chase you, though? For what? I just met you. Ain't no point in chasing you, you feel me? That shit over with. So halfway towards the night, she trying to kiss all on me and shit, whatever. So you know me, I'm like, damn, like, should I fall for the trap? Like, is this a trap? 
Like, is she trapping me right now? Like, is she really just trying to see, like, how I'm built? You feel me? Like, what she got going? I'm just really trying to see what the play really is, right? So, what she doing, bro? She just trying to see, like, how a nigga built. That's it. She just trying to see how I'm built. You know what I'm saying? Now, I'm, I'm, I'm falling for it, though. I'm like, what's up? Like, come on with it. Now, she let me get on top of her, kiss on her. You know what I'm saying? Rub on that thing or whatever. Right when I go to try to uh, 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 pull it up, pull them things down, she, uh-uh, you too young, boom, and got up. Bitch, y'all, you know what I'm saying? Bitch, y'all, he too, ooh, ooh, I would draw. Cause now he on stiffy stiff. He, uh, he, uh. I'm talking about, you know how he, that's exactly what he was. He was on stiffy stiff, you feel me? I tell my partner, I said, man, Shot a look over there playing games, you feel me? Like, that shit done. Dino was like, I'm not even trying to mess with it no more, fool. He started laughing like shit really funny. I'm like, bitch, ain't nothing funny, fool. Like, man, go ahead and do what you're going to do. So we're going to go back to the house, fool. Like, I ain't trying to stop you, you know what I'm saying, what you got going or whatever. But at the same time, bitch, you know what I'm saying? Hey, I ain't, I ain't got nothing going on over here, fool. Like, you feel me? So he go ahead and do what he going to go do. And then we bounce out. Right before we leave, our girl was like, I really would have smashed you, but you too young for me. Hey, say, AJ number the number, bro. Like, you tripping, bro. That shit dead. You know what I'm saying? Like, it already is what it is. You had already told me what you had told me. Like, it is what it is, bro. Don't come over here trying to goddamn me, uh, butter me up or nothing. You ain't give me the draws. I ain't get the draws. So, why are you sitting up here trying to butter me up on something? Like, I'm really just caring about it. You feel me? Low key, I really would though. Low key, I really want to go in. Ah, 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 ah. You feel what I'm saying? So as a little bit of time go on, I want to say we probably about the same age, about 15 years old. You feel me? Um, one day, me, my partner, and my other partner, we all chilling. We like, bro, let's stay tonight at Four House. You feel me? Let's stay tonight at Four House. We like, bet that, bet that. So we all go stay night over there. You know what I'm saying? Now, Fo had a cousin, right? One of my partners, he had a cousin or whatever. And I was kind of digging her, you feel me? I was kind of digging her or whatever because I've been, like, knowing her for a minute. Even though that's that's my partner cousin, at the same time, you feel what I'm saying? It's kind of like, you know how the gang go, bro. The gang go like this right here. If that ain't his old lady, and if he ain't saying it's off limits, at all times, you know what I'm saying? But here goes some shit that I did not know. This is why I say you gotta watch people and their agenda. You see what I'm saying? You gotta open up your eyes, bro. Open up your ears and pay attention to what's going on around you. You see what I'm saying? At all times, right? So here go here go the situation. My partner was dating her beforehand. Not the one we stayed tonight, my other partner. I didn't know that though. I ain't even know they was a girl. I ain't know like they had a little situation or none of that. You feel me? You know, like it was just like shit. It is what it is. It is what it is. You see what I'm saying? So I'm like, man, um. So what the play? We gonna stay night at four hour? He like, yeah, bro, we stay night at four hour. Boom. So we all get over there. At this time, you know, we young and shit. You know, we ain't really have no entertainment. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to understand, too, you know, y'all kids nowadays, bro, y'all kids be having phones at, like, motherfucking me, too, and shit. One years old, two, three years old, y'all got phones. Y'all know how to work these motherfuckers. Y'all know exactly how to get on YouTube. Y'all know exactly what YouTube look like. You know what I'm saying? Y'all motherfuckers watching Mr. Beast and shit, bro. Y'all watching all this shit at a younger ass age, but don't even know how to count to one, two, three, four, five. You see what I'm saying? Y'all motherfuckers know everything about a phone, but don't even know how to do your schoolwork. That might be something we need to look into. I'm just saying, you know what I'm saying? Technology taking over the world. But at the end of the day, bro, y'all need to, you know what I'm saying, put a little more uh, guidance, knowledge, and wisdom into y'all kids because y'all kids is just out here wilding with these phones. You feel what I'm saying? So, we didn't have phones, bro. We were literally like, I'm talking about that night, bro, we was in that bit with motherfucking balled up clean socks. Please don't think that we just balled up dirt ass socks and we didn't ball up no dirt ass socks. We had balled up some clean socks, you feel me? Probably like two or three pair, you know, for each of us. And then we had a motherfucking dirty clothes basket. Y'all remember them dirty clothes baskets that was like the, um, not a oval, but it was like a, um, 
it wasn't a square, it was like a rectangle, you feel me? It was just like a long ass rectangle. The white one with the holes in it that went all the way down. Y'all know what I'm talking about. But we used to take that right there and put the dirty clothes basket back there by the back and shit. We just, ah, 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 ah. Talking about winning them holes. Now we just playing basketball, trying to see who can make, you know, the most baskets off their socks. As we just playing and shit, you feel me? I noticed that Kim Folk cousin really kind of looking at me, you feel me? You know me at the time, bro. I'm going to say I'm probably like, at the time, probably like 15, you feel what I'm saying? And then she was probably like, she was probably like 13 or 14 years old, you see what I'm saying? But she wasn't built like it. Like, now, nah, don't get me wrong. She was a little slim, little, little thing, you feel me? But at the same time, you know, she, hey, if you was, if you was finna throw it, I'm catching it. Ugh. I'm here. You hear what I'm saying? At all the time. So, I'm like, I bet that, you know what I'm saying? So, I keep seeing her looking at my huh. You see what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, what you got going? Me? You looking at me? Oh, all right. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So, I'm like, man, what's up with you? I had one over there when the boys had one and got some water, whatever it is. I'm like, man, what's up with you? She was like, man, I'm really just trying to see what type of timing you on. You ain't got to say nothing but a word to me because y'all already know what time it is with me. So when she was talking, I had got a little stiff, you feel me? I had put a hand right there, whoop, whoop, put a hand right on it. I said, you see what time it is with me, right? She was like, okay, okay, okay. I'm like, yeah, yeah. So I I, ugh, I dip off from her just to give her a little aroma of it, you feel me? Just a little scent, you feel me? Some slight, nothing too major, you feel me? Some just, just to get her mind wandering. So we go back and we finish our game. Now when we finish our game and shit, you know motherfuckers joking off each other and shit. You know what I'm saying? We we cracking on each other. You know what I'm saying? We just running, shooting the shit with each other. You know, just talking as guys. You know what I'm saying? As young men. You know what I'm saying? So a little bit of time go on and whatever, and she. Psst. I know. <laughs> I know. I was just, I was just making sure you knew what you was doing before you do when you do it. You understand what I'm saying? So check me out. I go and I go to the room with her. She got the lights cut off and everything, right? She like, hey, you trying to? I'm like, man, yeah, yeah. You ain't saying nothing but a word. And you know, we was young at the time. Now mind you, I've been doing things. You know what I'm saying? I was having sex at 14 years old at school. On the stairs in Kiva Elementary Middle School. For those of y'all who know, y'all know what I'm talking about. You feel what I'm saying? I ain't got to lie about shit. You see what I'm saying? I beneficial. I ain't got to blow a whistle for it. You understand what I'm saying? So, I'm used to all this. You see what I'm saying? I was just trying to see what her mind was at. So, I'm like, man, what's up? So, we didn't really have a whole bunch of time to be like, lick, lick, suck, suck. It was like, man, drop the drawers and let's go ahead and run this, right? So, she do some gangster shit. Like, she like, book over, you feel me? Like, face down, it's up. <laughs> face down, it's up. I'm talking about she face down, it's... one more time, face down, it's up. Facts. But she in front of the door. And she, she booped over to where she could see underneath that crack. Underneath that crack in that dope, right? So I, uh, 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 I get it right now. I'm punching her down. I'm punching her down. I'm eek, 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 eek. And at the time, I'm not going to lie to you. I was like, ooh, wee. Now, I did not wear rubber. You know what I'm saying? I didn't wear rubber. Usually, I, well, let me, let me, let me pause real quick. So, I'm going to get back to this. So, I want to say to y'all, if y'all out here having unprotected sex, stop that shit. Stop that shit. Bro, listen to me. Yo, I need to have protected sex. You see what I'm saying? You don't know what these females or what these dudes carrying, bro. You could be messing with somebody, bro, and they have motherfucking me. HIV, AIDS, hepatitis C, anything, bro. And you out here just stabbing shit down, letting anything poke on you, bro. And then when something happens, you get mad at them. You should be mad at your damn self because you didn't wrap it up. You see what I'm saying? Now, at this point in time, when I was younger, I ain't had no problem wrapping it up. I always kept the gold magnum packs on me. 
even though even when I was 15 years old, you feel me? I fat in the golden magnum pack. Now that bit might not have stretched out all the way out like how it's supposed to, but that bit fit around me. You know what I'm saying? When when I got stiff, it fit good and then slip it and fall. None of that shit. You feel what I'm saying? I just ain't extended all the way. I just made sure it was good for me. Not pokey, pokey, pokey. But at this point in time, I did not wear rubber. I just went in her raw. I get off in that thing. I'm talking about, I'm talking about, hey, you, you know how like when you eat them cookies, you know how like you eat them chocolate chip cookies and when you bite into it, you be like, ooh, that be warm, but that bitch just came out the oven. That's how it felt. That's how the juice box felt. Like I had died into an oven, you feel what I'm saying? I'm like, oh shit, wait a minute. Let me put some pimp in it. You know what I'm saying? I ain't no pimp. But hold up. Wait a minute. Let me put some pimping in it. You feel what I'm saying? At all time, money on lock. I like this shirt. Uh, I had got this with the uh, short set. Money on lock. You know what I'm saying? That's just. Anyway, I had got off subject. Anyway, so I'm in that bitch. Icky, 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 icky. Time goes by. I finish. She finish. We good. I slide right on up out the room. I go right back to playing with my partners. Time passes. They was wondering, but what if, what, what was you at, boy? What was you at? Oh, nah, I had a, I was in the bathroom, bro, on the toilet, you know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't, you know, my stomach was hurting, you know what I'm saying? I was on the toilet or whatever, you feel me? Now, she right there. She, like, literally sitting on the couch, you feel me? Like, just posted on some shit, you feel me? Like, just chilling. Right over there, chilling. So I'm like, man, yeah, you know, I was just, man, my stomach was hurting and shit, bro. I was just on the toilet, you feel me? Like, it wasn't nothing major, nothing serious like that, bro. So they like, oh, all right, all right, all right. Yeah, so we get back to our game doing our thing. Ooh. Now, you know, you know, as young as you know what I'm saying, like, you get to talking. As young as you get to talking, you feel me now. Don't go, don't go criticizing me, saying like, oh, key boy, you did, you that, you that, you that. I don't care about none of that, you feel me? If you don't like my post, if you don't share my post, if you don't comment my post, boy, I do not care about your opinion. I'm just keeping it a being with you, you know what I'm saying? So I'm just sitting there cooling one day, you know, we out talking or whatever, you know, and uh i like, hey, bro, you know what? Remember that night, bro, when we was all at the crib, bro? We was at your crib. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, man, I had knocked your cousin down, fool. And it wasn't on no disrespectful shit because one of my partners knocked my, one of my cousins down. You feel me? So I ain't had no, it wasn't no hatred in my heart, like, on no shit like that, bro. It is what it is. That's the game. It's just how it go. Like I said, bro, it ain't like we call off limits or some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, it is what it is. I'm like, bro, yeah, bro, like. You know, me and Kay went to the room and shit. Wow, wow, wow. I knocked it out. Boy, that shit was crazy. I ain't gonna lie to you, right? So my other partner look at me, bro. When he look at me, like, nigga, what? I'm like, hold on, bro. Like, what's up? Like, you got some animosity, bro. Like, what's up? Like, you good? He's like, nigga. He like, nigga. I used to date her, bro. Like, literally, not too long ago, bro. We had just broke up on some shit, right? When he said that, right? Now, me and him, we real close. You feel what I'm saying? Me and him real close, you feel what I'm saying? So, I'm like, damn, like, I ain't know. I ain't know the child was, you know, the situation or whatever shit. He like, bro, what happened? I'm like, what you mean? He like, what happened that night? Like, how it happened? Now, that's letting me know that he, he trying to figure out, like, what was the situation on some shit? Like, how did it happen? Did she call you in there? Did you call her in there? You said you didn't know that we was together. So, I'm really trying to figure out if you really knew we was together or not. That's kind of the, the, the situation that he kind of giving me, right? So, I'm like, man, no. Uh, I'm like, shit, we were just playing a little sock game and shit, you feel me? And she called me into the room and I knocked it down. Like, it wasn't that serious, bro. Like, I ain't know y'all was together on some shit, you feel me? Like, if I would have knew that at one point in time, right, that y'all was together, I wouldn't have did that, bro. That's the bro code. See, the bro code is your partner, right? If your partner dated somebody, right, he done knocked it down, whatever the case may be. You ask that man first, like, hey, bro, like, I can fuck with that? If if he give you the green light, you good, right? But you never fuck with your people. You never fuck with your man's old lady, uh, exes, 
none of that shit. That's really the game. That's how the game's supposed to go. Like, the game's supposed to go, bro. Like, I don't want to give a fuck if that was your baby mama. If you my partner, I'm not fucking with that. You see what I'm saying? Because that's your baby mama. If you was with her and y'all was with each other for a little bit, you feel me? Bro, like, that's off limits. Unless you give me the green light, then, of course, I'm like, Iggy, 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 Iggy. And I ain't talking to Zelia. Iggy, 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 Iggy. And I ain't talking to Zelia. You know what I'm saying? That's how the game's supposed to go. So I tell him, like, man, I ain't, I ain't even know, like, that little situation like that. You feel me? Like, it was just on some shit. Like, shit, I thought I was just doing me. I thought I was just doing key at the time. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I ain't know, like, y'all was, you know what I'm saying? And like, bro, don't even worry about it, bro. It's good, bro. But I knew he would drove about it. I knew he would drove about it. But understand this. All that was was a setup. It was a setup. You see what I'm saying? Here's the setup, though. Let's rewind it. Give y'all a different point of view, POV. <laughs> so, that girl didn't know that we was all standing the night over there. So, when we all came, she seen her ex come through the door. She seen her cousin come through the door. And she seen Key come through the door. Right now, she might have been like crushing on the nigga or something. You feel me? But at the time, you would have thought that her and my other partner would have made up, right? Would have been like, oh, okay, well, look, bro, like me and you had got into it. You know what I'm saying? And I want to make this right between both of us. So let's make it right. You see what I'm saying? But that didn't happen. What happened was she wanted to hurt him. Either now, here's my thing too. I don't know if. He hurt her. Uh, I doubt he did. I don't know exactly what ended up happening that made them two fall off. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I'm not going to sit up here and make up some shit like, oh, well, he was messing with one girl and then she caught him. No, like, I, I don't know really what happened. But what I do know is this. She seen all this come to that door. And on her mind, she had revenge for him. Right? And so... When she seen the opportunity, she struck. The opportunity was, oh, he real close to key. That's how some of y'all females be thinking, though. That's how some dudes be thinking, too, though. You feel me? But when men cheat, when men cheat or men go out and they do something, it's because you looked good at that time right then and in our front of our face. You feel what I'm saying? I'm talking about ad on Schwabba you. We like, oh, she dating that bitch. She talking to me? Oh, she hollering? Hey, come here. Let me holler at you real quick. Ooh, wah, wah, wah. Bap, bap, bap. We done. You feel what I'm saying? It was all off of urge. We seen you. You look good. It was a spare of the moment. Bam. Women gonna hurt you. Women do some shit like, you know what I'm saying? Now, now women start to turn into men where it's just like, I just want a quick nut. That's it. You know what I'm saying? Women. But but when I was a little younger, it was different. Before Steve Harvey came out with that book thing like a man and shit, bro, women was not thinking like dudes, bro. Let's just keep it a being, bro. Like... I just keep it a beam, bro. Like, women weren't thinking like that. You feel what I'm saying? But ever since the Steve Harvey book came out, y'all know what time it is. You know what I'm saying? So, so, her thought process was, I'm going to hurt him by smashing his partner. You see what I'm saying? So, when it all came out, it was like, damn. That's what type of timing you on? But I was like, nah, like, shit, I ain't know y'all was working with each other like that, though, you feel me? Because if I would have known that, I wouldn't even did it. I might would have, hey, bro, you, uh. <coughs> hey, Alda, hey, you, uh. You straight, whatever. I don't know. Yeah? I don't know. I am. I am. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's exactly how I would have went. That's just some Louisiana shit, nigga. <laughs> you know <all> that? <laughs> oh me, listen to me. So niggas out there be talking like that. That was the real shit. Just just because we both know exactly what was going on, you know what I'm saying? We both knew the situation, so I would have ran into him like that. But she but she wanted to hurt him on some K Michelle, you gonna cry. You gonna pay me in tears, you see what I'm saying? She was she she was gonna hurt him. And she did. 
but she also knew that I didn't know that they was together. That would make it worse. That would make it worse. Cause she knew I didn't know. So in her mind, she like, shit. I'm about to take this. And she did. See what I'm saying? So that's why I say, bro, you have to pay attention to people's agenda. You see what I'm saying? Cause he was sleeping on it. Folk was sleeping on it. You feel what I'm saying? Because in his mind, he like, man, if that beep, you see what I'm saying? Bro, I don't care about none of that, bro. Woo wop wop in the third, you feel me? <laughs> woo wop wop. <laughs> yeah, woo wop wop in the third, you feel me? Nah, for real. But the whole time she was baking a cake on him. She put that bit right in the oven. That timer went off. That bit came out real hot. She set that bit right on the stove. She sliced that bitch in 16 ways. And she served it. And she served it. Right? Now let me tell you something. Right? You have to pay attention to the people you keep around, the people that you, you know, you messing with, you love, you care for, anything, you know what I'm saying? Let's just say you got an old lady, and your partner always around your old lady, right? You cheating on your old lady, you telling your partner about all this. Now, he got the ammo. Your partner probably be like, bro, don't do that girl like that. That's a good girl. Right? And then your ass start going out of town. Now she going to your partner for comfort. Crying to him and shit. I can't believe he did this to me, bro. I just... You know, a shoulder to cry on is a meat to ride on all day. A shoulder to cry on is some meat to ride on all day. I used to do it, right? Then the moment she smash on your partner, they gonna keep that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they gonna keep doing that. You ain't even know them. You ain't even know. For a year and a half, you probably your your your, your old lady probably getting smashed on by your partner. You ain't even know. But that was your partner, though. Now you crying to your partner and you find out she cheated with a whole nother dude. But she been smashing him and the other dude and other dudes, too. How you think you would feel about that? Right? What well, finesse say it's cool when they do it. It's a problem when I do it. Fuck. Right? I can remember too. One day I was in school, right? I'm in school, and my partners come up to me. I'm doing the video. Hold on. My partners come up to me. They say, "Hey, Kia, uh, I just want to let you know, you know, uh, your little yeah had hit us up last night." And uh, wanted us to run a train with her at the movies. Uh, you know, I'm just letting you know. You know. I'm like, what? You mean, man? She coming down the hallway and shit. I, hey, come here, man. Come here. Say, uh, what's what's with this, bro? I hear wah wah. Are oh, you tripping? You that 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 that? It's over. Just over. You got me fucked up. You see what I'm saying? But I was so, listen to me. I'm not ashamed of my game. I'm not ashamed of nothing I've been through. I will never sit up here and act like I'm something I'm not. You know what I'm saying? They say that once you get on YouTube, bro, and you start doing a YouTube channel or page or, you know, you doing your content, the moment you start doing all that line and shit, Motherfuckers that catch you in that and they expose you as being fake, as being phony, and nobody will really mess with your content no more because all they think of you is a liar. So I can never sit up here and lie and be like, I just straight cut off 
Right then and there, we had broke up, but I got right back with her. Then she tried to smash another one of my partners, and then I had fought a dude that she said tried to rape her or whatever, and when I beat him up, and then uh, we had ended up getting suspended, I come back, and they said she smashed another dude in our same little spot that we always smashed at, right? That's why I say you have to be careful with the things you do around people at all times because you never know. You never know, shot away. What, 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 uh, what, who that was, uh, uh, who that was, uh, the one who be singing, uh, uh, smile, smile with Snoop Dogg, Duval, uh, uh, Lil Duval, Lil Duval said, I keep my phone on me because you never know. You never, brother, to me, you never know how somebody rocking with you. You never know how somebody trying to play on you. You never know. What somebody's real agenda is. That's why sometimes you need to just sit back, analyze the situation, peep game on it, and make them think they're playing you. But the whole, but the whole time you really playing them. But you gotta learn how to do that first. You know what I'm saying? You gotta go through some things before you can even get that game. You see what I'm saying? Don't think you could just wake up in the morning and then get that game. It don't work like that, though. You feel me? You really got to go do something for you to be able to be like, hold on, bro. I see, yeah, I see fraud in that right there. You feel me? Oh, okay, okay. Let me backpedal a little bit. Let me backpedal. And then let me get my game right. You feel me? Because I'm going to stay ready so I ain't never got to get ready. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, and then you analyze the situation and you move on that. That's facts. I'm just keeping it a bean with y'all, though. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like a lot of y'all really lost. A lot of people really lost in the game, bro. And the crazy thing is, see, when I talk about something like this right here, everybody, oh, right, oh. But the moment I sit up here and try to really get y'all the game, don't nobody want to hear that until it's too late. You see what I'm saying? But why wait till it's too late to really listen and peep game on what somebody telling y'all and run out and do some dumb shit? And then next thing you know, you damn, I wish I would have listened, bro, while I was third. I know. It ain't your fault. It ain't your fault. <laughs> but it's your fault. Yeah. Just like that. It's your fault. See what I'm saying? Don't wait till it's too late to peep game on something like that. Because I, cause I, cause to be honest with you, look, I was in the trap. Right when I, when I, when I did that with my with my kinfo cousin and shit, I ain't even know I was really in the trap. I was really in the mix. I, I I listen to me. I was the bait, just to make my other kinfo feel some type of way. Understand that, right? But look, man, we only ask for three things, man: guidance, knowledge, and wisdom. And if it ain't that, man, y'all already know what time it is with me over here. Until next time. Oh, now.